Assalamu alaikum. What's good? What's good? What it do? What it do? This is your boy Azakar bringing you flame. You already know, dog pound. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop the work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, The League Attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Kicking with Mr. Moss, LC Predator Catch, J.D. Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, ISUPK, NOI, holding that thing down, baby. The Minister Farrakhan, been holding that thing down. Captain Kakazai, Captain Tazariak holding that thing down. Black Biden holding that thing down. Corey Holcomb holding that thing down. Man, the black YouTube period. The black YouTube period is holding that thing down. We make the world go around. You hear me, homie? We always get it out the mud. Everything. Everything is, is authentic. Who gonna do it for you? You tell me. Ooh, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is June the 30th. It's gonna be a hot one, and I gotta go to that plantation today. And I got some smoking hibachi for you. Thank you for tuning on in to Musa Azakar TV, bringing you that work straight to your device, whether it's a television, phone, computer, whatever. As long as you got access to YouTube, Facebook, and all that, holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? Close mouth, don't get fed. Hit that cash app, that PayPal. That's Musa Azakar Cash App. Musa Azakar PayPal, man. But we're going to get right into this, man. You know, Chris Mad Dog Russo, ooh, he's very controversial. He says some things kind of hard and strong. And everybody is really tripping off this, um, this conundrum we have going on. <laughs> I know out in L.A., man, I, I know real Laker fans is not liking their current situation. And hell, I can't blame them. It is a joke. In LA. It is. It's a joke like a mug. I mean, it's it's horrible. Horrible, man. It's so horrible. Right now, I, I, I got a little something, something for Paul Pierce. We're going to start that thing out with Paul Pierce before we uh, start really even with hibachi and air fryer, you feel me? I appreciate you tuning your time on in with Musa Azakar. Because, boy, we're going to have a good, we're going to have a funky good time. But people going to say you hate. Why is it all the time when you tell the truth about something, people say you hate? That is you what it is, y'all young generation, y'all just don't like no constructive criticism. <laughs> soft. Your feelings are soft like Raymond noodles when they get bored. Soggy. Soggy feelings. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, with all that being said, man, I'm going to tune on into these uh, messages, and we're going to be right back, and we're going to hibachi this LeBron James and Bronny James situation up in L.A. We're going to hook back up in a minute. Peace. Game of my life. I seen the white stuff on your nose. <laughs> what white stuff? I, when we you mad because I said you farted, uh -huh. and you're going to lie and say I did cocaine? Okay. Oh, you lied and said I farted. So I lied and said you did cocaine. Same okay. thing. Okay. You take fair, the proof. Fair enough. Fair enough. See, fair she enough. lied and said I farted. He didn't I'm fart. Definitely didn't fart. Her ass was farting, shaking her ass in front of that white boy. Asshole just loose as he can be. Oh, Every time she's shaking. Who can do that on call? What dog can shit when you say shit? You was farting on call. I had he said, dude, that's I what I'm saying. Tacos. And she doing this on camera and want to think she can get some money getting girls on behave tacos, like so. y'all. Money getting girls. This is the low grade money getting girls. They barely getting. I got money. They barely getting. I Coming on her talking to a money getting nigga like they really get money. Man, I know the man. I know money. I'm money. 
But you're a snitch. I ain't no snitch. Yes, but I will snitch if I was breaking law. You're a snitch. I ain't no hold over. You but got I will your clout off of snitching. No, I got my clout so off coming online and talking. I got my clout off coming online. If I got my clout off clapping my natural ass, no, no and clout. you got your clout off snitching. You ain't got no clout. You ain't, you who, stand, who, who's you stand, better than you who? You standing in line on 20 verses. In the streets, when you snitch, you ain't no real nigga. I ain't no real nigga. I'm a father who's never been to jail on his kids. You snitching. You snitching. You snitch on your own kids. I'm not. I ain't. I will. You goddamn right I will. Exactly. You goddamn right I I snitch on my own son, but I ain't gonna show my pussy hole to my asshole to my dick hole to get no money. And I hope my daughter don't either, because she graduated this year at 15 and her daddy bought her a car. She ain't got to go finish no man for her daddy here. Daddy been here since day one. Okay, big ups to the snitches. You got there. I'm right. Make that go to the snitches. We go to, we go, yeah, big up to the fathers and girls that got to show they pussy hole to try to get some money on OnlyFans. Big up to you hoes. Big up to you father and bitches that probably been molested oh, and fucked in the ass by one of them perverted uncles. That's oh, why you so sexual. Him. That's why you so promiscuous. No. Yeah, hide behind that motherfucking paint. I you don't even know it. No, I don't been knowing nothing. I'm just throwing rocks, and if it hit you, holler. If the shoe fit, wag. If it don't, I let mean, it quit. If the glove don't fit. Don't. Yeah, I'm just saying some shit like y'all saying some shit. Ain't we having fun to make content? But I hope my beautiful little daughter don't have to get naked to show her pussy hole to lay on her back just to try to get on her feet as a woman and you still can't get on your feet. I hope not even. Don't ever have to I do what y'all about either. to do. You know and them I tables, the rest of the young them girl, tables I turn. I hope the rest of the young girl that's watching this girl can learn how to create content without burning your pussy to the world. Trying to sell your body to me right here, touching on me like that shit turn me on. Man, I bypass girls like y'all every day. I was chasing that you. man, this motherfucker was. But you talking that kind of talk like you really that man, y'all ain't no real hoe, y'all play. The truth himself. The Boston Celtic champion. My rival. I'm a New York Knicks fan, it is what it is. But he called himself the truth. And he finna speak this truth right here. And people ain't gonna like this. But well, he finna start the hibachi. I really don't even think this is really about a championship no more. This is about putting on a good show. Think about this. They hired J.J. Reddick. Draft Brown. I mean, did, does this sound like something that's like we're trying to move in the direction to win a championship? Or does it sound like we're trying to put on the show? I'm just keeping it 100. It's like they're more interested on entertainment. Because if you do that, that's going to sell tickets. That's going to sell out. That's going to keep people talking about it in the blogs. That's going to keep people in social media talking about what's going on. Like, every day it's going to be like a script to me. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, oh, God. Did he did he call that thing out? He called that thing out, didn't he? I mean, it is what it is on that. Don't get mad. People get mad on, 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 on realness. Now, we got your boy, Chris Mad Dog Russo. He's another Nick hater. <laughs> but we might have a common ground on this thing right here. And it's, a, it's about the, the privileges the individuals get. And the privileges is messed up the NBA as a whole. Oh my God! So let's go ahead and cook, Chris Mad Dog Russo. And oh, oh, shout out to Dreamers Pro. I'm gonna start putting them in my introductions too, man, because I listen to his content every day too. So well, when I do have time, when I listen to a content, I make sure I got time to listen to his too. So I got to bow to him. He got good craft, good craft, very consistent, very consistent. Uh, but Chris Mad Dog Russo and Stephen A. They're having. Uh, a debate or whatever you want to call it, a, a conversation. It was asked who's the most intriguing college player and why we even talk about college players like this, man. It's because of Le LeBron James, man. Let's just get it real because and, and, nobody wouldn't be talking about the, what, what you know, we finna let them cook. And then I'm gonna cook after that too. We got some more to go to. Here's intrigue. We ain't talking about just basketball. If it was basketball, um, in terms of talent, 
Obviously, that's not the answer to this question. But when you use the word intrigue and you think about the multitude of storylines that come associated with this person, Bronny James, to me, is the most interesting thing going on. We're all waiting to see what happens with his name. Don't give a fuck, man. No. Sorry, it's way more talent in college. And, and I know them brothers can't wait to get a taste to get in that league. and just They're going to go at dude. Because, dude, you were garbage out there. And look, listen to what Stephen A. Smith keep on throwing up, and it ain't even about that. About the, it, this is, this is, oh God, it's fanboys, man. Just like my man, uh, 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 God, I can't think of his name right now. But I'm gonna get to it a minute, man. But uh, fanboys, man, y'all have made the game of the NBA so ugly to watch. I don't even watch it. I watch because my Knicks playing good. They halfway playing old school, but uh, the NBA sucks, man. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> you might be. I am not. He would not even play on UConn mm. last past year. Wow. He would be on the bench with Danny Hurley's kid. Okay. He wasn't better than uh, than Newton. He's not better than Spencer, and he's not better than Castle. Nobody said he is. Well, hold on now. But you are talking about him as a draft possibility. And he would be the fourth guard on UConn. Newton's not getting drafted. The point guard who won two championships. This is a guy who in a horrendous conference on a terrible team averaged 4.8 points a game on 36% shooting. I mean... Man, he is f -ryan. And real basketball is like, man, why are we even fucking talking about... If it ain't the first round, man, I'm gone. Ain't no trades that happen, I'm gone. I just catch the text like, we about to give up fuck about the number 55th draft, man. I feel so sorry. I feel so sorry for Laker fans. I'm talking about the diehard Laker fans. And it kills me, the ones that try to make excuses, they LeBron fans. The ones that try to, oh, it never, it never happened. Hey, man, let me tell you, though, it never happened. Nigga, the garbage. 55th pick, what the fuck? I'm talking about from a fan standpoint. Y'all looking at the set tickets. I be pissed. I leave my organization. Jennifer, man, y'all don't, they don't fuck the Lakers organization up, boy. Yeah, LeBron, y'all mess it up. It's horrible. It's garbage. Just throw up. Throw up. 4.8 points a game on 36% shooting. I mean, this is on USC. They didn't do this in Duke. This is at USC. I mean, if Bronny James' his father was a... No, hold on now, Stevie. If LeBron James is not his father, would anybody care about Bronny James? Hold on, hold on, hold on. On a terrible team, averaged 4.8 points a game on 36% shooting. I mean, this is on USC. They didn't do this in Duke. This is at USC. <laughs> I mean, if Bronny James' his father was a... No, hold on now, Stevie. If LeBron James is not his father, would anybody care about Bronny James? <laughs> Well, then let's be Buddy. honest. That's cool like we see it. I know that's difficult that's to hear. A, we are doing it. That, that's a very hey, fair that point. Fair he would not be even an issue. Nobody would hold care. On, His on, father's hold the hold reason it would be on 36% hold 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 championships. Hold this is a guy who in a horrendous conference on a terrible team averaged 4.8 points a game on 36% shooting. I mean, this is on USC. They didn't do this at Duke. This is at USC. I mean, if Bronny James' his father was a... No, hold on now, Stevie. If LeBron James is not his father, would anybody care about Bronny James? Well, then let's Buddy. be honest. That's cool like we see it. I know that's difficult that's to hear. A, we are doing it. That, that's a very hey, fair that point. Fair he would not be even an issue. Nobody would care. His father is the reason there's intrigue. That's the only reason. Come out. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not denying that. I'm not going to disrespect the kid. I'm going to remember that there was a cardiac arrest last summer and that he didn't play until January. I'm going to remember. I mean, you're... They ain't got nothing to do about that. It's so many college players and got situations probably almost worse than that. One got convicted of grape. And you... We got accused of grape. Excuse me. Why are you doing this apple and oranges and moving the goalposts, man? Uh. You're talking about the dude like he's 100% healthy, came into college, and did 
absolutely nothing. No, he almost died. He, he was out for half the season. He comes in in January. I'm not saying that we saw something and, oh, my God, this guy, his credentials on a basketball court is worth it. But in the same breath, you do have to take that into consideration. You also have to take into consideration the fact that LeBron James is his father. And LeBron James is still playing. And LeBron James is about to approach free agency. And LeBron James has declared he would love to play with his son. And on top of it all, the Lakers with the 55th pick. You know, who knows what they're going to do just because LeBron James wants them to do it. Who knows what the Boston Celtics are going to do at the 54th pick. Who knows what Dallas is going to do. Who knows what a team with bigs where they, the focus on Embiid or Jokic in terms of having a big where your offense goes through that you can afford to take a chance on a young tap. Hey, man, he doing all this. All this, man. I mean, man, he going around the world just to go next door. I mean, damn, man, cuz, cuz, he's, I be like, man, y'all got to take me off the other segments. I don't even want to talk about it. It's not even worth talking about no more. Sorry. Well, you can have it, man. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need clutch. I, I, I work by myself. I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you very much. Man, this tap down. In terms of having a big where your offense goes through, that you can afford to take a chance on a young talent that's known for, that, that believes to have some leather athleticism and prioritizes defense and what have you, and they're looking at the upside and to bring him along. I'm saying, yes, he has not proven himself on the basketball court, on a collegiate level, and yes, if he were not LeBron James' son, we would not be talking about this. But the fact that he is, and with LeBron James having said what he has said, that's what makes it interesting, and we can't forget, as much as we want to sit up there and talk about the lack of the credentials, let's at least acknowledge the kid almost died. God, thank God he's still here. Cardiac arrest. Man, come on, man. That ain't got nothing to do about why he's the 55th. Oh, it's a wasted pick. It's called like it is a wasted pick. Rest, and he's out. And then he comes back in January, we're acting like he's been 100% healthy, no issues, and was just riding the bench like Stephen A or somebody. No, that is not what happened with Bronny James. Bronny James almost died, and, he's, and he recovered from that. We got to remember that and put that in its proper perspective. I, I, We've, been We've been waiting. We've been waiting. I got to say one thing. Yeah. For, uh, listen, we're going to now throw out LeBron, uh, Bronny's health. So that's what you're going to do while well, he had a bad year because he had health in the middle of the That wasn't the question. The question is, based on his high school career and based on what mm -hmm. he produced for USC when he had a chance to produce, you tell me why you would draft him anywhere in his first two rounds. Tell me the reason. What evidence do we have? Zero. I know you want to bring up the health all you want, zero. but the heart, is, the heart issues. That's no, the zero, point. doggy. You're that, right. That, that's the you're problem. right. Do Thank you, man. Boy, 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 boy. Steve, now you make yourself look bad trying to tap dance for this. Hey, man, I, I, I'm i glad a young black man have an opportunity to have a father to play NBA basketball. I, I'm, 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 I'm glad of that. And if he have an opportunity, legit, legitimately, I mean, okay. But if you ain't got them skills, homie, that dog ain't going to hunt. No, it's, it, you can't put a triangle into a square. Sorry. Don't, let's just not try it. Let's not try it. So it is what it is on that, man. And then, you know, but... When you tell the truth on stuff like that, man. Uh, your boy LeBron got mad at one of his supporters has been a long time supporter, Rachel Nichols, because she was she was giving her honest assessment of the situation herself. I'm telling you, man, motherfuckers just don't like the truth. 
motherfuckers do not like the truth. I, I, I like Dream Pro, boy. Dream Pro got that. He got that. He got that real work. Now, see, it's what Rachel Nichols give her honest assessment uh, about the 55th pick. <laughs> the 55th pick. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. Let's continue to cook, though. The upside, he can be a good defensive guard. He's got great court vision. He seems to be a very good teammate, which was not a given, given his upbringing. He could have had this earlier than now. I'm LeBron's Agreed. son attitude. Yeah. No one at any team he's ever played on mm -hmm. has said that. Um, he needs to learn how to create more. He needs to improve his shot. Now, his father improved his shot significantly throughout his NBA career. So well, he certainly, certainly did this last year. Certainly yeah. we can see mm -hmm. Bronny having a trajectory like that. Will he ever be a star? I, I don't think so. It does not seem like just his size and some of the other things about the way he plays. I don't think he's a future star player, but, you know, high, high end. Do you, is he a Marcus Smart? I mean, is, is that there are guys who have made a living in this league being solid defensive guards. Davion Mitchell is a comp oh. that that Bronny himself brought up, and, and that's a guy with, you know, quick feet, similarly sized, a lot of defensive point of attack tendencies. Mm -hmm. So there are guys in the NBA who have made decent careers out of being the kind of player that at his high point he could be. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we've seen guys drafted at that spot who have fallen out of the league or who don't last very long. The thing is, number 55 it's not such a high value pick that you can't take a flyer on someone. Keyshawn, you know, my second round picks theory, people throw them around like singles at a strip club because they just, there's so many of them and they don't mean that much. Um, if you look at the last couple guys to go at number 55, the guy who went at 55 last year played a total of four minutes in the NBA last season. And the guy who went 55 the year before that spent his rookie season in the G League. So, the, the, the bar, if they take him at 55, is not that he has to be just fantastic, Victor Webanyama, out of the gate. He just needs to be someone you think that you can develop. And I don't think it's so crazy that given all the other factors the Lakers have, they're like, great, this is this is a better number 55 than a lot of the other guys we could pick at this, this spot. So you... Hmm. I didn't know what Rob Palenka said. He made that go around the world, then go to the next door, uh, the speech. <laughs> uh, man, I, I'm finna go play lottery tickets. I'm finna get myself get ready for this plantation. Day number eight, baby. Let's knock this mob. I'm going out the white. Peace and about the haggard people.